guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am doing this very soft glam peachy coral pink bronzy glowy spring look for you guys that was a mouthful but hopefully the title is not that long winded but if you want to see how I got this very fresh spring glowy makeup look then please keep watching so for this look I am starting off with my brows already done even though they are looking very very blocky right now my brows already done so i'm going to go into the primer situation and for that i am basically using three different primers for this look i want something fresh and glowy but smooth so for that i'm gonna go in with my Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer just on the t-zone and then for the rest i'm going to use my blemish remedy mattifying prep gel from bare minerals for the external part of my face and then for the added glowiness shine illumination i'm gonna go in with my strobe cream from mac in pink light so starting off with the photo finish from smashbox i'm just going to i'm gonna keep that on the center portion of my face i.e my t-zone and just smooth out and pour fill literally all my pores next is my blemish ready from bare minerals kind of overlapping where i've already put that smashbox one and then i'm just going to go in with my mac strobe cream now you can use this by itself you can use it under your foundation you can mix it in with your foundation but for today i'm just going to apply it like a face cream Yeah. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I've been using this for the past week now, since my like review test of this. I've been using it for the past week, and honestly, I love it. And I'm in the shade Fair Beige, and I like to go in with a damp makeup sponge that came with it. Also, having a flat side makes it very easy to get around the whole brow situation it's very easy but this is one layer foundation so it is a very natural looking foundation but i do want a little bit more coverage because like i said my skin is somewhat problematic today this week so that is my foundation with two layers so now moving on to concealer obviously it's going to be the shape tape concealer also in fair beige this is my go-to concealer as you are all well aware to set my end eyes, I'm going to go in with my uh, contour powder palette from NYX. I'm just going to pick up this shade. This powder sets my under eyes amazingly. But it also helps to brighten that area up just a little bit more. Also, I'm going to take that powder onto the lid as well. Just to set my lid, stop it from creasing. So the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Matte Makeup Powder in the shade Classic Ivory. I'm just going to use a all-over face brush from Bare Minerals. I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face. So now I'm going to contour my face with the same contour palette from NYX. I'm just going to go in with this shade first to contour my cheeks. And I'm going to use this one to kind of warm up. The face in general so this is a cool tone brown i'm just going to keep this to my cheeks now i'm going to go in with a fluffier brush i'm just going to warm up the perimeter of my face with that more warmer brown for an even added bronze i'm going to go in with the baked body frosting face and body glow into heat and glow from laura geller you can use this all over your body or as a face bronzer and that's what I'm going to use this for today. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm not using too much of the product, I'm just going to stick that pretty much where I've already contoured. And whatever is left I'm just going to brush over the rest of my face. And it just gives my face a little bit of a more of a sun-kissed, bronzy, healthy tahitan i've been to bora bora kind of glow motives i'm coming for you you know that kind of look so now that i have my bronzer on i'm now gonna go in with the laura geller chandelier glow blush and this is a very natural pinky blush i'm just going to swim a brush in that from spectrum i'm just going to blend that into the contour concentrating it on the apples of my cheeks the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Rose Glow. This is stunning. This is going to work 
so nice. So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. highlighter brush. I'm just going to go over all of the colours. And just keep that to the high points of my face. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Now it's time for the eyeballs. The eyeball look. So for that, I'm going to go in with... The Amazonia Clay 12 Hour Blush from Tarte in the shade Thrills. And this is a very nice matte nude shade. I'm just going to stick that into the crease. I'm not looking for anything too defined or too in your face. We're looking for something a little bit more on the subtle soft side. So I'm just going in with this colour just to give a little bit of definition to my eyes as my eyes are hooded so I do want a little bit of definition going on. To blend that out even more I'm going to go into Eden from the Desert Dust Huda Beauty palette and I'm just going to use the same brush and buff that crease colour out even more. Then using a flat detail brush going in with Desert Sand which is a matte ivory colour I'm just going to stick that underneath the brow. Next we're going to go in with this colour and this is Captivated by Tarte and this is a Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. Again, you know I like my multi-use products. I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. I'm just going to buff that out all over the lid. Going back into this nude shade of the blush and using a flat definer brush, I'm just going to stick that underneath the eyeball. Then going in with this colour on my fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that out underneath the eye. Next, I'm going to go into this Tarte palette. This is the Leave Your Mark palette. And I'm just going to pick up the shades. Hmm, which one should I go with? These are all gorgeous shades. Love. This is the shade Love. So I think I'm just going to put some of the pigment onto my brush and then spray it couple of spritz and then just stick that all over the lid. Mm, yes, that was a good choice. That was a good choice. If you are using any shimmer shades and you want them to be more intense, spritz your brush before you apply the pigment or apply your pigment and then spritz your brush and it will come out even more glowy AF. Next I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Drama Light Liner in the shade Highlight Bronze and this is just a coal liner. Very very cute, very subtle. I'm just going to run that across my waterline. I don't want anything too bright in my waterline or too dark so using a bronze is going to fit perfect so that is the eyeshadow done for this so now I'm just going to cut my lashes and stick some falsies on and I will be right back. So lashes and mascara are done. These are the Ideal Vloggers series Nicole Guerrero Casually Glamorous um, lashes. I put some mascara on as well. And this is the eye look completely done. So to finish this look off is obviously lips. And for that I'm trying this new um, product to me. This is from Revlon. This is a matte balm in the shade... 255 Enchanted and this is just a lip crayon and it's a matte lip crayon. Oh it smells like mint. Mm. I really like that. It's matte, it's not too sticky and it smells like peppermint and it ties this entire look together so nicely but I'm not going to stay there. I am going to put a lip gloss on. But if you want to keep the lip matte, then you do you. But I, like I've said quite a few times in this video, I'm feeling quite extra and bougie. So why not go just a little bit further? So for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with this little guy. This is from L'Oreal. This is a infallible lip cream in the shade 101 Girl on Top. And I'm just going to, it's to the centre of my lips. And that is the lips and the entire face done. Completely done. If you know me, you know I like to be a little bit extra when it comes to my makeup. So nothing is ever subtle. But this is a more soft, glam, subtle, spring, glowy, fresh 
peachy look. All the products that I have used in this video will be listed down below for you guys as always. If you like this video, click thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.